Hey YouTube, happy Friday! It's Sarah, less of Sarah. This is my 34 week update post VSG or vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, which I had in uh, Mexicali, Mexico with Dr. Aceves on November 30th, 2012. So, 34 weeks, I'm almost at eight months. Tuesday is going to be my eight month surgiversary. Time flies when you're kind of having fun. Um, I just can't believe it's been almost eight months already. It's really crazy to think about. I remember watching people's videos and seeing people like eight months out and thinking like, oh, they really have it together and I don't really feel that way. <laughs> I still feel like I'm struggling to try and figure it out. But as always, I have some interesting things or hopefully interesting things to talk about this week. So um, let me do my usual. Oh, and I'm wearing my work glasses today. I don't think I've actually worn these in a video. I usually wear my really cute sparkly ones, but these are the ones, my nerd glasses that I use for work. I think they kind of go with the haircut a little bit better though, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, the numbers. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. If you uh, are friends with me on Facebook or on my fitness pal, you may have noticed I've been having some scale issues. Um, I did actually do a review of my scale and fitness tracker and all that, and I hadn't posted it yet. And now I'm going to hold off on posting it. And I may actually just redo it because... I don't actually know if my scale is working properly or not. I thought I was having problems at the beginning and then it seemed to even itself out and now I'm concerned again that it's not really working right. So the beginning of the week, um, things seemed to be okay. I was getting like random weights that were not quite fitting in with the rest, but I usually weigh myself like three times at least just to see. Um, and then at the beginning of the week, my old scale died. The batteries died. That was good timing, right? <laughs> or at least I thought it was funny timing. Um, turns out it was, but for a totally different reason. So I had been sort of checking my weight on the old scale daily as well, and I stopped doing that. So at one point early last week, I had a big drop. Um, I dropped like two or three pounds in one day. Um, which I thought was weird, but at the same time, it's happened before. Um, so, you know, whatever, I'll take it. Um, and midweek, I was weighing in much lower. Um, I was running at about a five pound loss for the week at that point, um, which seemed a little crazy, but you know, you never know. Um, it, my lady time started on Thursday and I often do drop weight right before it starts. Um, that's fairly common for me. So I just thought that's what it was. No big deal. Um, but all of a sudden yesterday, the scale started weighing me at like three pounds more and same thing today. I finally put batteries in the old scale and weighed myself. And although it was weighing me lower, it was still higher than I had been midweek. So now I'm not sure... If I actually gain three pounds overnight and maybe it's just water weight or whatever from Aunt Flo's visit. That doesn't normally happen, but I guess it could happen. Um, I don't know if it's the result of a little bit of off-plan eating that I did, but that was like on the weekend. Um, I don't know if it's exercise because I've been doing a more strenuous, different kind of exercise than normal. Or whether it's just my scale that's off. Um, so I really don't know what's going on. So I was all excited in the middle of the week and I posted on Facebook that I had reached 190 pounds lost since surgery and 150 pounds since, or 100 pounds, sorry, let me try that again. 190 pounds lost overall and 150 pounds lost since surgery. Meanwhile, I actually haven't reached that or at least I haven't in the like weekly weigh-in sense. So I don't know guys, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This week I'm going to go with uh, the what my old scale said today. Again, because that's sort of what I was going by. Last week as far as loss goes, so I'm going to report in a weight of 273 today. Um, and that would be a loss of 2 pounds for the week. But again, on the new scale I did see as low as 270.0 this week. So I don't really know what's going on. Um... Either way, it's a loss. Two pound loss, five pound loss, whatever. It's a loss. So I'm happy with that. That's cool. Um, what I'm going to do going forward, so from today until next Friday, is to weigh myself on both scales every morning um, and just record what the different weights are. 
so that I can try and figure out whether it's actually an issue with my new scale or whether it's an issue with my body just going insane, which it could be either one. So that's the way in drama for this week, but I did have a loss. So thumbs up for that. Okay, so now we're going to do shout outs. Um, and it just so happens that a bunch of people who I just love and want to squeeze had surgery recently this week. And so I want to give all of them really special shout outs. Um, so big shout out to Jenny, a new life for me. Uh, a new life for me VSG or just, I think it's just Jenny, a new life for me on YouTube. And uh, she's actually someone that I met at my local support group. And she is one of the people who decided to have VSG sur surgery privately here in Canada. Um, and I think I've vaguely mentioned this in video before, but VSG surgery is not a really available privately in other provinces, um, with the exception of the province of Quebec, um, which is our French-speaking province um, for people who don't know. But um, Quebec's laws are very different from most of the other provinces, and they also have their own sort of health care and all that. So uh, VSG surgery is performed there by a few doctors. Um, and again, it is more expensive than, you know, going to Mexico or something like that. But um, I don't believe it's necessarily any more expensive than going to the U.S. So um, she had surgery in Montreal. And from everything I've heard, it sounds like she's doing okay. I know that she definitely had some pain. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to talk to her yet. But... Um, but hopefully she's doing good. So, um, Jenny, if you're watching, hope you're getting lots of rest, lots of liquids, walking, and doing all that good stuff. Um, Cater's Waiters. That's uh, Kate or Katie. She had her surgery this week um, with my doctor, Dr. Estevez, in Mexicali. Um, and it's funny because every time someone goes there that I know, I just sort of I don't know. It's almost like feeling homesick. Like, I'm like, oh, I wish I could be there. I want to, like, hang out at Almeida. I want to, like, chill with Dr. Campos and hang out with Dr. Savas. Like, I don't know. It's weird. I don't, I'm not really sure why that is. I would love to go back there someday, honestly. Whether it's with someone who's having a surgery or just to visit. I think if I ever found myself, like, in the San Diego area, um, I would definitely try and go back to Mexicali just to sort of check in with them and say hi. So, anyway. That's neither here nor there. But, um, Kate, I know your surgery went well. Um, I'm sure that you're home by now, so I hope that you're doing good. i got to send you a message on Facebook and check in on you. But um, I'm really excited for you. I, I know this is going to be a great decision for you. Um, gastric Sleeve New Me, that's Gail, and Briscoe B, they both actually had surgery this week as well um, on the 24th. So I hope you guys are doing great. And the, on the same day, so their surgery brother is Brother James, James R&Y guy. Um, you guys know I love my James. And um, he did post a post-op video yesterday. Send a little rough, James. I hope that you're feeling better. I know he was having some issues with one of the incisions and some bleeding, and hopefully that's all resolved itself. And he was saying he was getting up and walking. So I'm proud of you, James. I know how long you've waited for this, and I know how much this journey has changed you already, and I can't wait to watch the rest of it. So, uh, oh, God. I'm getting emotional. I just love doing shout outs. I love s somehow this, in, it's just so rewarding that the last, you know, whatever, eight to 10 months that I've been on this journey, just seeing all these people uh, making it to the loser's bench and watching their journeys. I find it so rewarding and it's, um, makes me a little emotional sometimes. You know, I love you guys. Um, so let's talk about, uh, eating and fitness. Eating this week was pretty much normal. Uh, on Sunday, we had the bitches barbecue. Sadly, we were missing a couple bitches. <laughs> so um, Jen had to leave a bit early and Sue wasn't able to make it, unfortunately. So we didn't end up doing a video like we were hoping to do because we didn't have all the bitches and I thought that wasn't really fair. So um, no video, but next time we're all together, I promise we will do one. Um, I kind of, I still tracked that day. I said I wasn't going to, but I did. But I, I, I didn't eat mindlessly, but I didn't plan out every single thing that I was going to eat. So normally I plan my day, plan it to be under a certain number of calories, and I stick to that. Um, I kind of did my thing and just, you know, did whatever. And um, I think I came in around 12, 11 or 1200 calories maybe, which is a lot for me. It's about 400 calories more than I normally have. But you know what? Sorry, my nose is running. 
whatever. It was one day and it, it wasn't, I wasn't eating things that were unhealthy necessarily. Okay, I had part of a marshmallow, so that wasn't <laughs> but um, I wasn't eating unhealthy things. I was just eating, you know, maybe a bit more than normal or, or not being as strict with myself. And that was fine. It was one day and whatever. Um, and it was planned. Um, it wasn't out of control eating in any way. Uh, fitness wise this week, um, you guys know I've been chasing the idea of exercising five times a week. Um, I'm finding that difficult to be honest because my body is like, um, no, <laughs> it's, it's hard for me that in between day. So I'm doing C to 5k Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm doing over and above the C to 5k program. So on most days I'm doing at least 5k, um, not yesterday. So, but Wednesday I did, uh, what was it? Six, six point seven kilometers. So four point two miles or something like that. Um, yeah. And I paid for that yesterday. I wanted to go to Zumba or go walk yesterday and just could not do it. Um, I, my body was, yeah. Um, so I mean, I want to push myself, but at the same time I have to listen to my body. And I know that there are lots of people out there that say, three times a week is good enough. And so I am doing what I can. If I can get in five times or four times, that's great. If I can only get in three, as long as I'm pushing myself and doing the best I can do, then I'm happy with that. Um, I don't know if that different and additional exercise is maybe causing me to retain water or, you know, it's, I mean, obviously I don't think I'm gaining weight because of that, but I know that it can definitely affect, um, water retention, um, you know, when you're building muscle and that sort of thing. So maybe that has something to do with it too. I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, when I talked about NSVs last week and I talked about clothes, the one thing I forgot to mention was that, um, I can shop in some regular stores now and that is weird. Um, I know, I think I talked about ordering stuff from Old Navy. I'd ordered a bunch of stuff online that was like, now it's still like a 2XL, but I mean, and Old Navy sizes, I think, are generous, but, like, Old Navy is a regular store. We don't have Old Navy Plus sizes at all, not even online here in Canada. So I can actually go to Old Navy now and buy stuff. And it fits. And not only does it fit, some of it is actually, like, I won't say baggy, but I bought some long sleeve shirts that were an XL thinking they'd be super tight and I could wear them under a t-shirt. And they're not that tight, so... I know, weird, it, it weirds me out because I haven't been able to shop in any kind of normal store in probably since grade school. Um, and Old Navy to me in a way kind of doesn't count because they do have those bigger sizes, but um, I wanted to buy a shrug, so I, I mentioned I bought a new dress for the um, AC meet and greet. And I needed to buy a shrug because it's sleeveless and I do not show that my arms are, no. Um, so I wanted to buy a shrug and... I've found that the ones that I've tried to buy in plus size stores lately um, are too big because my shoulders have actually gotten extremely small. I don't know if you compare it to like old videos, but my shoulders have like really gone down in size. And my chest, unfortunately, my I'm, I'm touching my boobs, but you couldn't see. My chest, unfortunately, has also really gone down in size. So I'm really small up top. Um, and so anything that like a, a shirt like that, where it's literally just covering your top part is very, is very big on me in a size that would match the size of shirt I'm wearing, if that makes sense. So I actually bought a shrug at a store that I've never, ever, ever, ever been in. It's called Ricky's and they do have, again, some bigger sizes, like they have XL and, and double XL. Um, and I bought a double XL shrug and it fit perfectly. I think it's sort of like a 16, 18. Um, Yeah. That's new for me. That's really new. I <laughs> I also bought a shirt there too, like sort of a tunic like shirt with a belt that also fit. That was the double XL. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Strange stuff. Um, I guess I just don't even know where I'm gonna shop when I get into normal sizes because I've haven't shopped in a normal store in like twenty years or more than that. So if anyone's Canadian. <laughs> have any suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Um, not that I don't shop in the States all the time too, but yeah. So that's this week. Um, 
Love catching up with you guys. I have been watching videos. I haven't been able to comment as much as I wanted because I have been, sorry, glasses are crooked. I have been watching videos in weird places where I can't comment or while I'm working. So, but I love all of you guys. I support you. You are the best. And so until then, remember to appreciate every step in your journey. Love you guys. Bye.